RuneScape is such an interesting and addictive game. You can play it for thousands of hours and still feel like you have always something to do. And if you play for that much time, it's probable that you have an alt account. I feel like to fully enjoy the game, you need to try different builds and playstyles. And that's why today I bring to you a new series on the channel. Hello, hello guys, my name is Kai and welcome. As you can see, I'm not on my main account, I'm on my One Defense Pure. On the last few months, I've played a lot on this account and I'm really loving it, so I've decided to start making content on it. As you can see, it has pretty nice stats already and my big goal is to make this one of the best pure accounts ever. That means I will skill, PVM, raid and PK a lot on it and I wanted to share the progress with you guys. For now, I want to start working on my 90 base stats and I have a couple of stats that are on their 50s like uh, Slayer and Runecrafting for example. But for now I have a pretty healthy cash tag so I will use it to buy a couple of viable skills like Construction and Herblore. I already have a lot of planks to train Construction here so I think we'll start with that. And yeah, I really love this account and I want to share with you guys all the progress that I make on it from now on. So I really hope you enjoy. This will be a big episode. Let's get started. There it is boys, 39,000 planks later, level 85 construction. I want to get level 92 at least. I think it's a good level to get uh, everything from a house, like to get a max house. I know I could boost, but I want to get level 92 because one of the big goals is to get 99. So let's get halfway there. We will start to make mahogany tables, 32 million on mahogany planks. Uh, I think it's the fastest way to, to level up. We don't need a kitchen anymore. And let's build a dining room. There you go. And there it is, level 92, real fast. Okay, it's time to remodel our house. There's the ancient altar. Next up, the ornate jewelry box. Really, really good to get very nice teleports around the game. A crystalline portal nexus. Also amazing to get a lot of good teleports. Put that stuff right there. I don't know how much money I spent already, but there it is, a lot of essential teleports. Beautiful. Also, we need an obelisk, of course, because it looks cool. And the most important upgrade of them all, the ornate rejuvenation pool to replenish my stats and everything else. And I'm not liking this floor at all, bro. So let's change it. Yep, minus 15 million here, but at least my house looks cool. <laughs> okay, and I think that's all. So my house looked like this and now looks like this. So that was a really good improvement. I like this. It's time to train Herblord. I have currently level 80. So the goal is to train till level 90 for now. We need to make approximately 37,000 prayer potions. I already have all the snake grass I need. So I just need to continue to buy the unfinished Renair potion. And yeah. And there it is. One second for you guys. And I don't know, a lot of hours for me. But there it is. Level 90 Herblord. And with all the prayer potions sold, I have 84 million on my name. And now with level 90 Herblore, we can start to make super combat potions. I've decided to go to level 99. So for level 99, we need to make 51,000 super combat potions. I think this will be a breeze. I have 84 million to work with. This is a really easy 99. So, hey, we're making 245k XP per hour. I think that's really good. And there it is. Last potion, still 99. 5, 4, 3. And I will stop here because I don't want to get my cooking cape trimmed. Let's take it out of the bank. Also, some runes to cast telekinetic grab because we can't uh, grab it normally. This is a little trick to keep your untrimmed cape. It's the first cape you got your first 99. So you drop your capes on the floor. The second one. And then you get your 99. So let's get it. Three pots to 99. Two, and there it is, 99 herb lore. Beautiful, bro. And yeah, we now can cast Teleconnect Grab. And the capes keep the untrimmed. I love the untrimmed cooking cape because I, I don't like the trim one. This one, I didn't use Teleconnect Grab and it trimmed by accident. But yeah. And let's sell all the super combat potions we have and we got 62 million plus the 26 we have here on the bank and we have 88 million so that means we made money out of this well if you want to make money and get 99 herb lore the time is right for it boys go get it me of the sun. 
level 97, 98, and 99 crafting. Beautiful. I've been skilling and AFKing on this account so hard lately. And there's the untrimmed capes. And now we have a really, really useful teleport on the account. Yep, the crafting guild teleport, the nearest teleport from a bank. It's really, really useful, boys, for basically everything. Well, recently I found that peers can go to Apatol. They don't need to do the diet or training anymore. So I guess it's time to do Monkey Menace 2 on this account. We need to finish this part from the recipe from Disaster, freeing the King Awawigi, the Gnome Stronghold Balloon Route, and 69 Slayers. So let's get to work. Bro, I remember living with fear, thinking about coming in here and training uh, defense by accident, but there it is. No defense trained. Everything is good, boys. And there it is, the King Wagwagwigwigwigwigwi 3. Not gonna lie. I think this is the worst thing in the game, man. This is terrible. I don't train Slayer for so long on this account, but let's see if we can get lucky. I like Connor. Okay, Black Demons. Not ideal, but that's fine. A little break from Slayer, and there it is, 97 farming, beautiful. Hey, 92 ranged, very, very nice. And we still need five Slayer levels, still 69, so let's keep grinding. That's another task done, and we have a lot of points. I think we'll, I will use these points right now. This pouch will be really, really useful, and I want to upgrade it to a Divine Rune pouch. For that, I need to do TOA to, to get the Tread of Villa Dennis. Currently, we can hold three types of runes, but with a tread, we can keep four, so that's huge. Another break from Slayer, 98 farming. And there's level 69. We're finally ready, boys. We're ready for Monkey Madness 2. Okay, here we are, coming through. Let's start this quest. This is a long one. I don't do this in like uh, two years, bro. I don't know. I remember I had a lot of trouble with this demi boss the first time I did this quest, but yeah. You just need to drag the little guy right here, and he's stuck. <sighs> it took 10 minutes of lynching, but it's finally done. We arrived, boys, at the infamous part of the quest, the platform part. I remember like two years ago, this was really difficult, but with a quest helper, I think it's much, much better. When I did it, I didn't use the quest helper. Well, let's see how it goes. Genie is going to get us caught, bro. No. Last one here. Not gonna lie, this was really, really easy with a quest helper. Wow, really huge help from Neve there. Yep, Neve, I told you, there were gorillas on the loose, you didn't listen. Boss down, boys. There it is, basically, quest complete. It's done. 80k Slayer, 60k Agility, 50k Thieving, 50k Hunter, and Crash Side Caverns access. That means we can kill demonic gorillas Ooh, and we got 70 Slayer out of it. And also we got the pods. This is an amazing teleport in the wilderness because you can teleport in the level 30 wilderness with just one click, so it's amazing. Well, and that's Monkey Man is 2 complete. We still have a lot of quests to do here on this account. I love questing here and basically I love playing on this account. It's really, really fulfilling and... Yeah, we still have a lot of things to do. Oh, and I forgot, after this quest, you can get a really cool item or a really cool pet, I guess. And that's the little monkey you can put on your back. It looks really, really cool. Just a little bonus video here. Tropa getting 99 smithing. Jeezy, brother. Jeezy. Yo, what's up, everybody? Good morning. Do you notice anything different? Yup. I got a Osmonton's Fang, that means we have now 82 attack. I've decided to train the attack to 92 because now we can use all the weapon tiers, which is really cool. The Osmonton's Fang is one of my favorite weapons, but now we can use the side of Vitor. Obviously, I don't have enough money yet, but in the future, I might get one. Also, I'm planning to complete today Beneath Curse Sands, so we will be able to use the Keras. And I trained prayer too, we got two levels. Now we are able to use preserve, which is the last prayer we can use. And today will be a day of questing, we have really big quests ahead. First we will complete Beneath Curse Sands to be able to use the carries and gain access to the Tombs of the Masket. And next we will complete the most recent quest, the Desert Treasure 2. We need to complete also the Secrets of the North 
and I think we don't need another requirement. Okay, 60 rune crafting. We also need to knock that out. We have level 57, three levels to go. So yeah, let's get started. Yep. Gotta watch out for this attack. Ooh, nice. Come on, last hit. And it's done. Minute Curse Sense completed and we got 50,000 agility experience. Next one, boys. Secrets of the North. We have all the requirements. Let's go for it. Not gonna lie, man. This guy is kind of annoying. I... Uh, yep, I'm dead. <clears throat> Buck. Okay, nice. Second try. This wasn't so hard after all. Yes, 60k agility, 50k thieving and 40k hunter. Nice. Okay, last requirement, 60 runecrafting. Coming in level 60 real fast. This game is a lifesaver, bro. And here we are, ready to start this big quest. We have four bosses to defeat, and I'm going to show you how the boss fights went. Enjoy. Manu. <laughs> well, finally was the time to kill the last boss, the Whisperer. When I tried this boss for the first time with my main, I had a little trouble defeating him, but this time I was in the zone, I was ready, and I was looking dope, bro. Look at the staff, look at the elder robes. I love the pure fashion scape, man. I look dope right here. <laughs> well, let's defeat him. This first time I tried it, uh, my sanity went to zero, so I went insane and basically I didn't have any chance, so I died. In the second one, things went very well throughout the fight, but in the end, I don't know, man, I lost control. Uh, my sanity went down, I was becoming insane. Actually, I became insane and in the end, I got the kill, bro. I was very, very happy, man. Very, very happy. The last room was a little bit more difficult than I expected. Um, the pure account here got so much damage, bro. I was dying so many times, but in the end, we managed to kill the demi bosses. And there it is. In my opinion, the best quest in the game. We got the Ring of Shadows to access the four bosses we just killed. And we got three XP lamps that we will use on strength. Each XP lamp gives 100k experience, bro that's huge and i will buy another ring from this guy because if i die doing some of the four bosses i have a spare ring to teleport there again i bet you're not expecting this yep 99 farming on esprit there's no better way to do it bro i knock like i don't know man 399s on this episode already <laughs> not gonna lie this is a really satisfying 99 to get New content, new content, new content. We just got the Varlamore region. So we have a continent to explore, guys. Yep, we have a lot to explore. Hey, this looks really good, not gonna lie. Okay, man, gotta admit, Varlamore looks awesome. I enjoyed a lot the first day in Varlamore. 
The Perilous Moons was a really fun and enjoyable activity to do with friends and yes, overall it was a really really good update. Yep, another 99 on the episodes. I know it's a record, it's a record, but we ain't done. There's 99 ranged and the last one, 99 magic. We finally maxed the Holy Trinity, Strength, Ranged, and Magic. I simply wasn't able to end the episode until I did this. I feel like the account is so much better now. I did all this progress you just saw in this episode in the last two months and a half, and I really hope you enjoyed it. So if you liked it, give a thumbs up and maybe subscribe to the channel. I have more progress videos on the channel if you are interested. And yeah, with that said, hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you on the next one.